I just have to press yes. I accept. Let's change this. And then just stay seated, but just find a really, really comfortable place. Because I know we've been chatting for a while, so you might just reposition and rearrange where your legs are. And once you've done that, just see if you can soften through the shoulders. See if you can just give them a little bit of space. And maybe as you do that, you notice that there's just this really lovely instinctive breath. You just allow it to fill. And then very easy to place your hands somewhere on your body or maybe on the earth. And just take three breaths. Long and easy breaths. The end of that third breath. If you're lying down, you can very softly just maneuver so that you're upright. If you want to change the position, have a little change. So if you're cross legged, we're in external rotation. So have a little think about your hip as well. And then external rotation, so that is. And then softly interlace the hands. Exhale as you draw the palms skyward. Inhale as you please. Exhale as the right hand lands to the right. Left hand comes over the head. We take a little side stretch. Inhale as you please. Exhale, we come up to center. This time we interlace the hands, but I'm going to And inhale as we feel the chest open and draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, left hand to the left, right hand over the side switch. If you can, get the ribcage involved as well. So have a little kind of C shape through the ribs. Exhaling interlace. Maybe if you haven't just woken up, you change a different, you choose a different interlace. Inhale as the arms go skyward. Exhale, side stretch to the right. C shape in the in the ribs. Next, exhaling, interlace the hands behind you. Inhale, chest comes forward, shoulder blades together, smush down. And then exhale, left hand, left hand side side stretch. Inhale, it feels yeah, really lovely. Exhale, bring the hands down onto the mat, just in a tabletop position. And then exhaling, have a little pat. And just notice if one part is moving more than the rest. But just notice if, you're, if it's your pelvis that's doing loads of the movement, or if it's the shoulder blades and the middle spine. And if it is, just see if you can get the other thing that you're not, not moving to move. If you're feeling more movement in the foot, in the hips, allow the shoulders and the shoulder blades and the chest to dip down to. Last cat cow. And then just before we come into planking down dog, just circle around the wrists. 
So it's kind of straight into fairly strong upper body stuff. So make sure that the whole palm of the hand feels like it's had some weight go through. Oh, forgotten. Really nice. And then entirely up to you. Plank and then down dog, or maybe you prefer tabletop and then down dog. So up to you. If you're tabletopping, it's a little bit of a shorter down dog. I think that's probably the option that I would go for today. Up to you. Either way, inhale as you plank or tabletop and exhale as you down dog. Go and get, take your sh um, la, 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 hands a little bit wider, Jordan, and turn out tiny bit. So exhale and a tiny bit. Yeah. Because your shoulder blades at the minute are kind of stuck a little bit. <laughs> They're not wanting to be. Last three of each, so three planks, three down dogs, or three down dogs and three tabletops, whatever's been working. Good, nice and, nice and slow, it's speeding up, slow it a bit. Mm. Good, on this last one, let's come into down dog, drop the knees. Send the hips back to the heels and just have a little more rest in Charles. So just breathe there. Just rest. Maybe have a little wrinkle through the shoulders. As you inhale, just send your chest forward, your hands back down into a knees down plank. Right. Any degree of motion is cool with me. On an exhale, just bend the elbows and on an inhale, push and straighten up again. It might be a tiny bend, it might be that you bend all the way down. Mm -hmm. And imagine your chest going a little bit forward as well. Really good. So we're just preparing for those chest alignments, really nice. Lovely. Last one or two. Trim the hands from the triceps. And then just gently take yourself into the downward facing dog. Ugh. And again, feel free to substitute tabletop for down dog. You're more than happy with that. Inhale as you look forward. And exhale, maybe forward fold. Three half salutes and a little finisher. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, link the buttocks and the chair bones a little bit lower. Good. Inhale, all the way up, Samastitan. Got wrap going on here, whatever. <laughs> Exhale, hands into the heart. Inhale, adjust the feet, take the arms up. And exhale. First, the last one, maybe of Sunday morning. Really nice. Good. Oh, do you think that's pretty good? Our inhale just serves to remind us to press down through our feet. And our exhale, we press back and lift our core off of our thighs. Inhale as we adjust the arms. Exhale, once again, we press back. Bend the knees. Everything earth down, really lovely. Inhale, find the feet again, little toes press, really lovely. Exhale, nice back and up. How's that feeling in there? <laughs> I thought when I saw you come up, I thought <laughs> maybe stay in chair though, rather than go all the way down. Yeah, up to you. Inhale at the bottom. This one's different. Exhale, forward fold, just the feet as you come back into the forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhaling, potassium and chair pose. Inhale, you press from the feet and go all the way up. 
Exhaling, hands into the heart. Inhale, adjust the arms, adjust the feet. Three malasanas, or three forward fold, or three chair poses. Three less. Inhale the whole way down. So, inhale to find the feet. Three less. And then exhale, go back to come up. Inhale to set the hands. Exhale, we push back. Bend the knees. Inhale as you find the feet, especially the little toes. Exhale, push back and lift off. Inhale, knees. Exhale, push back. Bend the knees. Inhale as you pause and then come into a forward fold. Exhale, forward fold, adjust the feet. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, put us in the chair pose. Inhale all the way up. Some stiti if you feel like a little back bend this morning, go for it. Exhale, lean hands into the heart. Inhale, adjust the feet, keep your arms up. Exhale, with control, you send the weight back through your hips. The knees bend. Those joints are super warm. Really nice. Inhale as you find the feet. Exhale, pelvic floor switches on. Core is involved. Take the hands off. Inhale. Exhale and push. Inhale at the bottom. So good. Really nice. Exhale back and up. Inhale of the arms. Let's just do one last one. Exhale, come back. Good, really good. Inhale, adjust the feet. And exhale, forward fold. From here, we're just going to do a little tiny finisher before we come into the first of our simple flows. We're going to use our hands to remind us where we want the rest of our body weight to go. So hands in prayer as we inhale, flat back. Because we really want to be as far forward as we can. So use the arms to remind you to fly forward. Exhale, rock the weight back. Take the arms behind you. We want the weight behind us. Inhale, hands in prayer. Flat back. Exhale, rock the weight back. Arms remind us. Yes. Inhale, prayer. Exhaling. I should really be feeling it. In that whole back line, maybe especially in those muscles either side of the lower spine, the erector spine, eh? might really be feeling like, oh, thank you. Last one of each. Good. So back hasn't changed shape. Really nice. Nice jump, lovely chair. Once you come into that last chair, you've exhaled. Inhale as you just pop the hands onto the thighs. Oh, and then exhale again as you straighten up the legs and allow the back to change shape. It's gonna wanna be round. Really nice. Inhale as we pause, getting ready for the first of our flows. Exhaling right leg, right knee, just a low lunge. We'll do a few low lunges. Inhale as the arms seek the sky. Stay here for just an exhale and have a little climb so that we feel that we've got the option to back bend later on if we want. So as we climb, just find some space for the chest. Whenever you next exhale, drop the hands, run as much. Inhale to straighten up and change the weight. And exhale softly, quietly, fly forward. Inhale to pause. Exhale, left leg, left knee down. Yeah. Inhale as we take the arms up. And stay here, we just find a little bit more room. Really nice. Whenever it is that we next exhale, drop the hands down, run as much. Inhale as we change the weight. 
and exhale. We will fold that self first, close down. Stand with absolute inhale, flat back. Weight is forward. Exhale, weight comes back, chest pose. Maybe a little lower now to people one. Good for you, three nice. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands into the heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, Malasana, just one here. Good. Inhale, feel the feet. Really, really spread the way through the feet. Exhale, forward fold. Still in our lunge flows. Inhale, as we pause. Exhale, right leg back, right knee down. Whoop. Inhale, we sweep up. Maybe we have a little bit of a back bend. And exhale, just downward dog. Inhale, knees down front. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, send the elbows forward into sphinx. And exhale, just roll the head. Inhale, pop the hands underneath the shoulders, ready to push. Good. Exhale, up and back, down the facing dog. Inhale, we look forward. If you feel like a jump, it's there. It'd be rather a really lovely stroll along the center of your mat. That's also there. Yeah, whatever. Jump or a stroll. Or something in between. Nice. Inhaling. Exhale, left leg, left knee down. Low left. Get a little bit of space in that back front of thigh. Inhale as we sweep up, maybe take a back bend. And exhaling just now. Nice and simple. Inhale, knee up or knees down front. Whichever one, exhale, elbows strong, control slow down to the ground. Inhale as those forearms come into sphinx. And exhale, maybe you step from the head in the other direction this time. Don't worry if it was happening before I said it. Inhale, hand underneath, toe the butt. Exhale, with as much control as we went down, we go back up, down the dog. Inhale, we look forward. And exhale, we decide what we want. Some jumper stuff. Some controlled stuff, yeah, good, lovely. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, stay here, just allow the head just to dangle down, jaw to the jaw to be a little relaxed. And then inhale, flat back. This is second flow down. Second flow, complete. Exhaling, chest pose. Inhale all the way up. If you want to tiptoes at any point, feel free. Exhaling, hands into the heart. I don't know why sometimes tiptoes feel so nice. Inhale, it's not as if I'm not tall enough. It feels so soft. Exhaling, all the way down. I'm probably like six foot two on tiptoes, aren't I? Four inches? I'm just six foot two. Inhale, as we pause. Exhale, four fold. Uh, inhale, to pause. Third of our last lunge flows. Exhale, right leg back, just a low lunge. In as we take the arms up. If you want a little back bend, as you exhale, interlace the hands, rest the back of the leg into the palms. And see how that feels. Wait for the next exhale and allow that to take you out of the back bend. Take the arms forward on the inhale and exhale down with the Inhale, knees up or knees down. Slow, controlled, chaturanga, feeling the triceps the whole way down. Inhale, a super strong low fist. Go easy, Elaine. That's okay. Exhale to come down. Inhale, we place the hands strong underneath our shoulders. And exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg sweeps up, plenty of time. If you want to be in your fingertips, so you've got more room underneath you, feel free. Exhale, 
exhale, high lunge. Really nice. We're going to pause the breath just where we are and stay here for five breaths. On an inhale, take the arms behind you, interlace if they'll comfortably go. Find some space in the front of the chest and stay here for four more breaths. Front knee bends a little bit more on the wings. Yep, nice. The last three breaths, go a little bit longer. Uh, back heel up as well, Jordan. Yep, and turn those toes, yeah. And then a bit longer, so more gap between the front, yeah. Last two breaths. Last long, sweet breath. As you inhale, release the lock of your hands and sweep them up to the sky. And as you exhale, super slow with control, lean a little bit forward. Travel forward into a forward fold. Good. Inhale to forward, same thing, other side. Exhale, left leg back, just a little much. Take the arms up. Interlace if you can the other way. Let the back of the head rest into the palms, maybe squeeze the palms into the sides of the head. Exhale to come back up. Inhale to take the hands down. Exhale just down. Inhale, travel forward. Knees up or knees down. Exhale. Into your bed. Inhale a locust. If you want, you can just do upper body locust. So feel free if you just want to do upper body. It's going to take some of the work off the glutes, yeah. Exhale to come down, nice. Inhale as we adjust the hands. And exhale down. Just like before, if you need more space, fingertips is really nice. Get an extra kind of couple of inches. Inhale as the left leg goes forward. Exhale, it curls underneath you, high lunge. Whenever it is you next exhale, take the arms, interlace in a more unusual way, a way that feels weird, and then stay here for five minutes. Make sure both hip bones are facing forward, but one's not kind of open now. See if you can get a little bit more toeage or a little bit more ball of the feet spread on that back foot. Really nice. Can you get the chest up a little bit more to be there? Yeah. I reckon you can go a little bit longer, Jen. Yeah. Good. Last breath. Arm lace the hands. Oh, sorry, I almost dropped us down to a uh, runner's lunge. That would be nice. From here, when you're ready, just lean a little bit forward. When you feel that weight transfer, forward fold. Nice and slow, so with control. It's almost like a warrior three S. Inhale, flat back. That's the third and last of our lunge flows. Exhaling, good as in that chair. Inhale, from the feet, tiptoes are always an option. Exhale as the hands drip down into our heart. Hopefully that's really comfy. Inhale, we take the feet wide and the arms go skyward. And exhale, Malasana. So, inhale as we pause, exhale, forward fold, which means we're coming straight in from our exhale, then straight into an inhale into a plank. So, inhale, plank pose. If you normally step with one foot, step with the other one. So, if you normally step left foot back, Step with the right foot back. From plank, exhaling onto your belly. Yes. Inhale, strong cobra. As little push as you can muster from the hand, as little push. Really nice. Good. Exhale to lower back down. Inhale as your hands press down. And exhale down the face. 
Inhale, right leg sweeps up, maybe fingertips just for a second if that's been working. Exhale, warrior two. Just that back foot, I know we do it all the time so we've got room. Use the arms to remind your torso and hips where they're meant to be. So the arms are arm along, hips are facing to the long edge. We leave our feet where they are, but we move our hips into warrior one, and our arms remind us that the hips are following us. Exhale, our arms remind us that the hips are going wide as our arms go. Inhale, hips forward, arms forward, warrior one, bring us. Exhaling, so hopefully, move has made an entrance. Inhale, really nice. So feet staying really still, but hopefully you're feeling the hips circle in the hip joint. Last one before we move on. Warrior two as we exhale. Inhale, warrior one. As you exhale, pick up that back feet, spin on the back toes. Inhale as you prepare your drishti, your gaze. And exhale, it's like a warrior three. It's a bit more freestyle. Yeah, nice. Lovely warrior three. Nice. You could, I mean, you could hang out warrior three for a bit if you want. I don't stop you. Either way, at some point, four folds. This is really lovely staying on warrior three. Inhale, flat back. Exhaling. Tassana chair. Oh, have we done both sides? No, we haven't. Well, let's do it anyway. Inhale, all the way up. We got a bit excited that we'd finished the flow, we haven't we? <laughs> so the arms to let's leave, let's leave out the Malasana though. Inhale, arms up. And then just exhale. How easy is that? Forward fold. So nice. Inhale as we pause. Exhaling, thinking about our plank. So just like before, whichever foot is going to go first into your plank, use the other one. So if instinctively you plant with the right leg first, move with the left. It will feel a bit sticky, and that's good. So as you come down onto your belly, inhale a strong cobra. And exhale as we lower all the way back down. Inhale as we prepare, prepare the feet, prepare the hands. And exhale, laying down the foot. Fingertips if you like, inhale, left leg, skyward. Exhale, sweep it underneath, warrior two. Adjust the feet because you know we're here for a little bit of time. And again, the arms are kind of reminding us what the hips are doing. If you need to move and swivel that back foot so the heel is further back from your toes. Inhale, arms go forward as the hips go. Exhale, arms move out as the hips move. Inhale. If you've got it and you really want to experience this the last one, just allow your eyes to close and hopefully you're really feeling that back thigh spin around in the socket. Last two. Exhale as we want you to. If you're in your own flow, great. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, lift the back heel and turn the toes so that everything is facing forward. Inhale, just give yourself a breath to find the focus on your drishti. And then exhale, straight into the mirror. It's kind of like warrior three, but it's very organic. Yep, and then drop the foot. Really amazing, four flows, <laughs> completely done, really nice. Inhale, feel free to pop the hands onto the thighs for your flat back. Yeah, sometimes it's really nice to get a little bit of traction. Exhale, maybe they stay there for your, for your, uh, for your um, chair pose. Inhale as you come all the way up. And exhale as the hands find their way into it. Inhale as the feet spread, the arms go wide. Exhale, Vinyasa. Inhale, do pause in our Vinyasa. And exhale, press from the feet. No rest here. Inhale, straight back. 
Remember, we can tabletop at any point. We can miss out chaturangas. We can jump back. Absolutely, Sammy, that's a lovely jump back. Exhaling onto our bellies. Inhale, a back bend of choice. Cobra, sphinx, locust, and your answer. Very close. Good. Exhale as you detangle your back bend. Inhale the toes prepare, the feet push. Just as control push up and back as we went down, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up, three legged. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale as we pause and change the breath here a little bit. We've got a little bit more thinking time. Exhale, one arm up, one arm down, side angle. Feet really strong. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, bring the hands into the chest, push through the palms, and maybe lower that bottom elbow just so it hovers on top. Yes, nice feeling, really nice. Good. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, push so strongly through that front foot, the knee has no choice but to straighten up. So don't straighten the knee, push it through the foot to straighten it, yeah. Inhale as you pause. Exhale, drape the hands down, turn that front foot, wide leg or top. Drop the head if it hasn't already, but still kind of up going, what's next? Drop the head. Pause on your inhale. Exhale, adjust the hands so they're at the front of your foot, adjust the back foot, and then just a little step forward, forward fold. Yeah, just like we've been doing nice and easy. Good, lovely feet. Inhale to pull. Exhale, just drop the head, loosen up the jaw. Inhale, plank pose. Exhaling onto your belly. Inhale, back bend of cheeks. Really nice. Exhale, to undo it. Inhale as the toes find weight, ground feels weight. Press up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale as that left leg goes up. And exhale, shoot it through, for you two. Inhaling, warrior two. Really nice. Exhale, side angle, travel forward. One arm up, one arm down. Front knee stays, bend. Exhale, bend the elbows, palms together, press them strongly in so feel that core connection. Inhale, support. Exhale, push so strongly through that front foot, the knee has no choice. So strongly through the front foot, the knee just has to straighten up into triangle. Arms wherever you want, if they just want to stay in prayer, they can. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, just soften the legs a little bit so you're able to sweep forward into a wide leg forward fold. Feet are parallel. It's a good transition. Exhale, just pause. And once again, if the head is still up, so feel like the head drop at least. Oh, it is dropped, sorry. That was my, I was looking at your bum. <laughs> <laughs> Exhale, start to move the hands to the front of the mat. Twiddle your feet that are facing forward. And then however you want to get into a forward fold, but let it glide. So let it have a little glide somewhere. Yeah, just a nice little glide. Oh, nice. Nice summer, lovely. When you get there, exhale, just put the head out in time to be a little bit wider. And then inhale, this is our last half salute. We've almost done. Slap back. Exhale, maybe you put your hands on your shins, on your thighs. Inhale, just feels a little bit more comforting. Arms up. Exhale, hands into the heart. Inhale, last squat. Hopefully not last squat of the day. Exhale, now we're all warmed and primed for it. 
in as your heels, finding your feet, spreading the weight, and exhale, pull the front. Okay. Inhale, plank. From your plank, this one, let's leave out the chaturangas, just down the facing dog and exhale. Yeah, thank goodness. Inhale, right leg scoops up to three legs. And exhale, high lunge, right leg forward. So all of those bounces that we've done, we've now used them. Take the arms up. On an exhale, it's warrior three with the locust on the top. So we use all that strong legs that we've developed, that skill. Inhale as we pause. Exhale back to high lunge. Inhale to pause. Exhale, drop the back knee. Inhale to lift. Exhale, warrior three of locust. Thank you, Walk. Inhale to pause. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, drop the back knee. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale to pause because I've messed the breath up. And exhale, high lunge with locust. Stay here. On your next inhale, simply bend the floating leg, pop it gently down next to the right, and re establish both feet on earth. If you want to forward fold to release, if you want to stand and release, either is a great thing. Circles are probably going to be really nice or a twist. Good. <laughs> Enzo's just trying to say you're working hard for me. You see what you're doing? He was just like, this is ridiculous, mom. Yeah, let's go and have some bacon sandwich. That's what he says. <laughs> let's forget our down dog. Let's forget our plank and simply step the right leg back into a high lunge. Yeah, last bit, very, very last bit. Take the arms up, spot. Inhale, we know what's coming next. Exhale, warrior three with the locust on top. Inhale as we pause, finding the feet, really find the feet. Nice, short and lovely. Exhale, come all the way back, high lunge. Inhale as we drop the knee. And exhale as we lift the knee back as well. Inhale, we set our gaze, our intention. Exhale, woof. <laughs> Warrior three, I'm so thankful for the side table. Inhale, in. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, drop that back knee. Really nice. Exhale. Inhale, last one. Exhale, fling forward. Good. I just got pissed off with myself, but I'm not going to. Warrior three on top of locust. Really nice. Yeah, if like me, you're starting to get pissed off with yourself, just go great. But no. Foot next to foot. Gemma's paused. Or she just really relaxed. Oh, yeah. I thought you were just. It's once there. Slow down, drop the knees, drop the feet, drop the butt. We've got five minutes. Entirely up to you what you want to do in those five minutes. If you did do all those chaturangas, it might be that you just take hands onto tricep. If that feels nice, maybe you decide that you want a little tricep stretch. So maybe that one elbow comes to the sky, hand comes to the center of your neck or the center of your shoulder blades, and the other hand just allows it to What do you, what do you, I didn't do, what is about three chaturangas? You can swap over when you're ready. These are fairly small muscles that need a super long time, yeah. And maybe you stretch it, but maybe you don't.
We did a lot of balancing. In fact, we balanced on every single flow. So you might just check in as we're stretching and just make sure that the center feels like it is relaxed now. It's not still kind of bracing itself for whatever's coming next. If you're not sure, or if kind of when you put your hands there, it just doesn't feel relaxed, you might just come into Baddha just for maybe 30 seconds, a minute, and just really allow the front belly to soften and to not be ready for action. We've done a lot of hip stuff, a lot of glute stuff, which I hope hasn't broken the name. So if you want, if it feels nice to have a little glute stretch, you might stay upright. One leg forward, one leg bent. The bent leg is going to come over and across, and you should already feel that stretch going through. And if that's enough, just stay there upright, maybe hugging that knee in. Otherwise, hug that knee into you and take it. Old me doing a twist, just really for the last few breaths. Just imagine that hip pump spilling out or sinking down, whatever works for you, but just softening. Imagine those tissues just kind of slightly pulling apart. So inhale, come back into center. Two straight legs. Feel free if you want to take forward from here, just dropping the head down. We have done it for ages, so feel free. Yeah. Yeah. And then we did that to the same thing, other side. One leg bend, back bend, leg coming across on the outside. And we take a close twist. And then you are on that twist. Once again, just feel where the sensation is. And we should be able to feel that sensation and then just allow that muscle to ease down. It's like it just spreads out. And then softly wherever you are, after the last couple of minutes, just come to rest. Just rest. If you want to rest that upright, you can. Maybe you're on the sofa. I'm going to put myself on mute. I'm going to get in.
very, very softly, very gently, just start to think about coming up and away from whatever position you're in. And just like every Sunday, maybe this feeling that we've created, maybe at some point today, you come back to it and you just sit with it. Otherwise, maybe come to a seated position, have a little bit of shoulder shuffle. And allow the arms to spread wide and all the way up. And then just let them go back down to earth. Inhale as we resist. And exhale, feel that pull of the arms back to ground. Inhale, arms all the way up. Arms meet. Exhale into the heart. Namaste. Let's start the recording. Oops.